Hello everybody, Tech Blast here with a review of the MSI GF65 Thin 9SD gaming laptop. This laptop has a GTX 1660 Ti 6GB and Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. This laptop also sports an Intel i7-9750H with 6 cores and a TDP of 45 watts and all of these upgrades listed here which shouldn't affect performance too much. Moving on to our first benchmark game, Valorant, we can see that with the settings up to 1080p high, we are averaging a smooth 250 frames per second. This would be a good time to mention that the key travel and feel is very nice. Not super clicky like a true mechanical desktop keyboard, but a solid key with a slight hint of mushiness. Our temperatures are sticking around 75 to 80 Celsius with highs up to 85. Keep in mind that the fans were spooling up pretty hard. Our next benchmark game, CSGO, at 1080p high, is barely hanging on to 190 frames per second. I was not impressed by the thermals of this laptop. Most of it is based off of that blazing hot i7 9th gen, which sticks at full load throughout the whole game. The CPU hit as high as 92 Celsius, and the GPU was no different. RAM usage is sticking to 6 to 7 gigabytes, so the stock 16 that this laptop came with should be plenty for games like these. Sticking to CSGO for the next test, we moved from Dust2 to Nuke, with the averages still sticking to 190. The temperatures and usages are the same, however this time, the CPU hit a high of 93. RAM usage sticks to 6GB and the GPU usage goes up slightly from the 40s to the 50s and 60s. The fans are now heavily ramping up as you can hear in the video, and all of the performance settings are set to turbo the CPU. This is why you see very high spikes of 360 frames per second and 1% lows of 100. Our penultimate game of choice, GTA 5, runs surprisingly smoothly with the fans lowered by the software since this is a relatively old game. We averaged 125 frames per second with no problems with highs pinned at 126 FPS and our 1% lows at 105. However, our lows do not tell the whole story, as at times, large lag spikes lasting less than a second make the smooth experience slightly more choppy. Finally, a personal favorite of mine, BeamNG Drive. Running on the smallest map first, we see averages of 180 on high settings. Some minor slowdowns bring our 1% lows to 141 and 0.1% lows to 115, but that is still smoother than the GTA 5 experience. Before I go on, I have to mention that all of the drivers are up to date and the trash files were cleared, so the lag spikes in GTA are caused by the game and not the laptop. The final game test is Italy, the largest map on BMG Drive. You can see RAM usage is at a full 11 gigs, but temperatures stay at 80, and usages are under control with an average of 60 frames per second. This is playable, but noticeably less smooth than the full 120 frames per second that this beautiful IPS display is capable of. Finally, one thing that I did not add into the script was that this 32 gigs of RAM that was installed aftermarket wouldn't affect the games that I benchmarked too much, but if you get into the heavier titles, I would suggest this upgrade. It's cheap and easy. Finally, the true benchmarks arrive, starting off with Cinebench. Now would be a good time to mention that this laptop has an Intel i7-9750H 6-core 12-thread processor. It's no thread ripper, but it does the job pretty well, achieving a score that beats out most last-gen desktops. Keep in mind this is before overclocking, which to be honest is pretty hard to do with a laptop, given the thermal limitations. The last test is Heaven Benchmark 2009, where we average 180 frames per second with temperatures in the high 70s. Now on to design. This laptop runs on AC power and has one HDMI 1.4 port, two USB-A ports, 
two USB-C ports, full gigabit RJ45 Ethernet, a headphone jack, a microphone jack, and of course a Kensington lock. One thing I did notice was how fingerprinty the back panel can get, and another thing was that the brightness, volume, and arrow keys are all conjoined into one little tiny space. Also, the power button is a little finicky as you have to press pretty hard to make it click. The last tidbit I didn't like on the laptop was the huge sticker on the right, and the trackpad is slightly wobbly, so I suggest picking up a separate computer mouse. The display is really where this laptop shines. It's a 15.6 inch, 120 frames per second FHD IPS panel running at 1080p with G-Sync. Now for the disassembly process, I had to use three iFixit picks, one iFixit screwdriver, and the Phillips head magnetic bit for this job. Once inside of the laptop, we can see that there are many heat pipes connecting different components to the fans and then out of the vents. The battery is pretty large with the claim all day battery life and 180 watts of fast AC charging. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you want updates on the latest videos before they come out, be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram accounts linked below and in the end cards. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This has been Tech Blast, signing out.